This video is a property of MBKP International and LEDLightShack.com. In this video we're going to talk to you about our crazy lights, talk about the differences, talk about how to hook them up, and see if we can answer most of the questions that we're getting on these. I guess the main question most people ask is how are these different than any other people selling regular 50-50 LED lights? And where's the difference? The major difference, the biggest difference is that most people selling 50-50 LED lights, all they can control is four rolls with one controller, which is a total of 20 meters, and that's 65.6 .6 feet. They, some people try to push the limit and go six rolls. After that, you, I mean, you start seeing color fades. They don't, the lights don't look right. And that's the biggest difference that you can, you really you can only control 65.6 .6 feet, which is 20 meters. You can see here, we've got on one controller here, a total of 20 rolls, and that's 328 feet just off of one controller. They're all in sync. They're doing the exact same thing and um, total of 100 meters and that's that's probably the biggest difference how you can control a lot more rolls of these off of one controller and doing the exact same thing going up to 328 feet and uh, I'll talk to you about how you do that how you I want to talk about instructions on the controller when you first turn these on uh, I'm just gonna shut them off for now you see how they go off and then I'll hit the length button and once you hit the length button you see how they all went on blue over here. I'm going to hit the minus button because usually when you come when these controllers come they only come set for one roll and you have to you have to basically tell it. So you see how I'm hitting the length button you see how those lights are going off and I'll go half of another roll just to show you right there. The rest are still on. Now I'm going to turn the lights on themselves again to turn the program on. You'll see how the last two rolls over here are not working. And that's how you extend the length and you tell the controller exactly how many lights to, to turn on and, and turn off. A lot of people ask, are these cuttable? Yes, they are cuttable, but I don't see why you'd want to cut them since you have a controller telling you exactly what lights go on. If you have overlap, I would, you know, to me it's easier just to leave the overlap because usually these are up in crown molding, they're hidden, it's creating like a light, light, light effect. So you don't, you don't run your warranty by just not cutting them. You just tell the controller to turn on to this many, let the rest of this overlap each other because nobody's going to see it anyways. And that way you don't have to get into cutting or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and extend to the full length of the, of the program again. So now I'm hitting the increase button. Okay, now all the LEDs are lit up, so now we can actually control this again. And then turn, turn it on so they run. And now when you shut it off, they just shut off, they're off, turn on, they're on, doing the program, just like that. Before I show you some of the programs, I kind of want to talk about how the hookup of this is, and that way you can eliminate some of the questions about all the power supplies. Let me go ahead and shut this off. It makes it a little bit easier to, to focus here. So basically each one of these are 6 amp power supplies. And here again, you don't have to use all these power supplies on them because you could buy a big huge power supply and run the wires where you need to run them. That way you're not going to have all these cords. I'm doing this for ease of use so people can actually understand how to hook these up really easy. Um, you're welcome to do it this way. The reason why we have so many power supplies, these are 6 amp power supplies, you want to have enough power to where you're not draining your, you're overworking your power supplies. So like these power supplies, right now, they're, they're just warm to the touch, they're not hot. If you get a power supply and it's getting really hot, you're overworking it, eventually it's going to burn out. So these, if you do it the way this way, or you get a power supply that's big enough, you have to talk to your electrician about that as far as what size power supply you need. Rule of thumb for your electricians, if he needs to figure out, if you're just doing a two roll system, that would be two rolls right here. You need one six amp power supply, the controller, and then the lights. And that would that would be enough just to do just that. So and then after that you're gonna skip you basically you see how we didn't hook up a power supply directly to the lights. Because the lights themselves are getting their power from this power supply going through the controller. So now we'll skip the power on these lights, but we want to go to the next setup. We're going to do another six roll, another six uh, amp power supply, just like this. For this set, I'm going to work with one side only. That way, so I'll do this six amp power supply. Go into this set of lights. That will also feed into this set of lights right here. So that's why I'm going to skip this set of lights. 
down to do another 6 amp power supply going into this set of lights, which you can see it right here, the connection. It goes into this set of lights, and then I'll skip this one because that power supply also feeds into this one. And you're going to do the same thing along over here. You're going to skip this roll, roll over here, do a 6 amp power supply for this set of lights, skip this set of lights, then another 6 amp power supply for this set of lights, and then skip this set of lights. Okay? I went all the way to the very end, kind of like just skipping lights, and then just to make sure we did have enough power, and I'm going to explain this to you, I'm, I'll put it on a program to explain why you do want a power supply at the very end as well. So we did another 6 amp power supply at the very end of each of these as well, and I'll show that to you. So basically on, on this system, we have a total of 11 6 amp power supplies, which is a total of 66 amps total. Uh, for a t complete 20 roll system, you can get a 66 amp power supply or 100 or 80 amp power supply to run every single one of these as long as you have the right connections. And here again, your electrician would know how to do that. So if you give him this information, he should be able to figure out what he needs to buy if he, if he doesn't want to use all these power supplies, just like this, no problem. So let me turn this on and I'm going to put it on a program and then I'm going to pause the program. I want to do a program I know that you can see the differences on and why you do need the power supplies the way they are. I'm going to let this program go because it's usually really good to see on the whites usually. I'm going to pause it here in a second. just want to get to the whole length of the lights here. I missed it there, but I'll get it this time. Kind of hard. Maybe I should slow it down. Okay, so they're not all in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut. I'm going to unplug these power supplies over here. You see how these went red over here? If I unplug the end piece over here as well, these go red over here. That's because there's not enough amperage in those last set of lights, even though they're working. And that's actually the problem you'll have when people try to add six rolls to other other people's systems that you buy. You'll see where people are selling these for a lot cheaper. They're just not the same quality. You're going to have problems like this because they don't have that option to add extra power supplies. And that, that's where you're going to run into the problems. So that's why you need all the power supplies and you do need to space them out. Otherwise you're going to have these problems. Let me go ahead and plug these back in so you can see how the color goes back to normal. And then I'll just unplug one right in the middle. And this is why you got to space them out. You see how these two kind of didn't, they're not the same color as everything else. You don't want that effect. If you ever do have that effect, more than likely it's your power supply. You'd have to replace a power supply or you got a loose connection. If you're using one big power supply and you got a different color in the middle of your whole setup, well, I would check your connections because somehow you lost power to the, those set of lights. Turn it back on, everything's back to normal. That's the reason why I want to explain the power supplies here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the program again. I'm going to use my controller here too. Um, I just shut them off there, but I'm going to turn it back on. The program starts going again. With this control, with the remote control, you can um, you can actually go with the speed, increase or, or decrease the speed of how fast these chase. And I'm going to, one is the fastest. So I got it on one right here. I'm going to go over and go to the 100 because 100 is the slowest. You see how slow it is right there. So you you have speed anywhere from 1 to 100. Just knows as the number's going up in value, the speed actually goes down on how fast the lights change. So let me go back to 1. I have it on 1 just to show people this because it, it gives you the most effect when we're using so many rolls. So now we're back to 1. And then from here, you can also change the different programs. I'm going to hit the program. There's a button here for programs. I'm going to change the program. You see how it just turns reds. I'll go through a few of the programs. That's a pretty cool effect right there. You're going to hear me click this a few times because this video would last an hour to go through all these programs if you let me, if I just stay on them for any length of time. You 
you can see here on the controller as I hit it, there's different how that number goes up. So we're already up to program number 68. See how they do different things. I'll go through these programs really quick. I really like this program actually a lot. I think this is really cool. It makes a really cool effect when you're like in a bar type setting. You put these in a bar and kind of just have this glowing just like this. It's really a really cool effect. Up to 86 now. I'll let this program run so you can see how it changes colors each time. Almost to the end of the programs here. I'm going to show you, you can actually use the pause button as well. Just to pause the program on whatever you want to, you can pause it anywhere you want it. You can do that on any program you can pause it. It's PPP here on the controller just to show you it's paused. I'll unhit it so the program's still running. So also, um, there's a total of 133 different programs here. It may be hard to see since it kind of has this uh, blinding effect here. But it's 133 programs. I want to hit go, uh, go advance again. Now it goes back to program number one. Nice thing, the lower programs, like one through seven, I forget exactly it's, or if it's one through six, but they're just solid colors, which is really nice if you just want, want to keep it on a solid color. That's number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, then once you get to eight, that's when you start doing these blinking effects, um, chasing effects, stuff like that. And hopefully this video will answer most people's questions. Do you have anything to add, Chris? Mm -hmm. This video is the property of MBKP International and LEDLightCheck.com.